If your landscape pictures are suffering from this hazy look that you can often get, it is very easy to remove this using the dehaze slider in the latest versions of both Lightroom and Photoshop. But what if you're using an older version of Photoshop? There's good news, there's a very quick and easy workaround. Now also in this video, I'll be showing you my favorite method of removing color cast before going on to just darkening down the sky slightly. Right, let's make a start on this hazy look. We're gonna come over to the bottom of the layers panel. We're going to put in an adjustment layer and the adjustment layer we're going to be using is levels. Right, just take a look at the histogram as well. Let's come up to the image. We're gonna go down to apply image. Now when apply image opens, notice the way that layer mask has now changed to a little black and white thumbnail. Now where it says channel, we've got RGB. If you click in the window, you get a drop down menu we're going to be using the blue channel. So as soon as I click on blue, once again, just keep one eye on that uh, thumbnail. You'll notice the way it's just lightened up slightly. We're gonna click on okay. Keep an eye on that histogram. Notice the way that's changed. We've now got a gap in the darker pixels here. So if we click on this slider, and if we start to move this across to the right hand side, we're introducing more of the darker pixels. Notice the way that the image is becoming clearer there in the distance going to take it into this region just backing it up slightly like this coming to the center slider here the gamma slider moving this across to the right hand side you can darken it down even further moving it to the left we can brighten it up slightly I'm going to take it into this position here would be pretty good right if we just come up to the adjustment layer icon the little eye icon we can switch it off and on and look at the difference that's made to the image but I'm not so sure I like what it's doing to the foreground. Now just make sure you've got your framework going around the layer mask. Make sure you've got the default colors here in the toolbox. Press D on the keyboard if you've got any other colors. We're now gonna pick up the gradient tool. Make sure you're using the linear gradient. And what I like to do as well is just click in this window. That brings up the gradient editor and just make sure you select the foreground to transparent. So there it is, the black through to that checkerboard background. We're now gonna click on OK. Right, bringing my cursor out into the image, I'm gonna click down. Clicking down, holding down Shift on the keyboard. Why am I holding down Shift on the keyboard? Because if I just bring it up, if I move it to the side, releasing Shift, we got a wonky line, pressing down shift, we've got a nice straight line, I'm gonna bring it down into this area here, releasing my mouse or pen, that looks pretty good, perhaps just taking it up a little bit further, like this would be good, yeah, like the way that's working, once again, switching it off and on. Right, let's take a look at this color cast in the picture, because you can see it's got a little bit of a blue haze to the image. Now what I like to do is stamp these layers together, now there's a very quick and easy shortcut. Now if you're using a PC, it is Control, Alt, Shift and E, pressing all of those keys together. That's Control, Alt, Shift and E. On a Mac, it is Command, Option, Shift and E. That's Command, Option, Shift and E, and there it is. That has now stamped these layers into this new layer here, layer one. To check out the color cast, we're gonna go up to Image. We're gonna go down to Adjustments. We're gonna come across to Match Color. Now when the match color dialog box opens, under the image options, we're gonna go down to neutralize. Tick in the neutralize button, watch what happens. Look at that, love the colors this has brought into the picture. Come to the fade slider as we start to move this across to the right hand side. You can see the way we can fade down those colors. It will depend on the tonal range in your picture, the amount of color cast, but I'm gonna go for something like this. I think that works well with this image, just like the colors around here and the way it just fades off. And you can also try the color intensity. The more you take this up, the more vivid those colors are gonna become. The default is 100, so I'm gonna take it back to the 100. Luminance is for the brightness. You can move that, you can try, you can experiment with that. Just switching the preview off and on, you can see the difference that's made to the image. We're now gonna click on OK. Next, darkening down this sky. Now my favorite method is to use layer styles and we can easily access layer styles by just double clicking on the thumbnail. There it is, there's our layer styles. We're gonna go down to gradient overlay. Now when the gradient overlay opens, we got white at the top, we got black at the bottom. So if we just come over, we're gonna put a tick in the reverse. That looks a little bit better. Let's come to the gradient here. Let's click in the window. 
Again, this brings up the gradient editor. And as we've done before, we're going to select the foreground to transparent. So there it is, the black through to the checkable background. Click on OK. Next, blend mode, normal. We're going to change this to soft lights. That looks pretty good like that. This is where we can use the opacity slider. We can move this back and forth. And you can see the way we can just uh, darken it down a little bit like that. So we can move it back up. Let me show you something else. Bring your cursor out. You'll notice it's the move tool. And just like you can with the neutral density filter in front of your lens, you can drop this down. You can take it down over the entire picture. You can lift it up so you can move it into position. Something like this here would be pretty good. Let's just drop down the opacity into this area. Once again, just trying the preview off and on, just down a little bit more like that. Great stuff. That will do nicely. Now, what if you want to save this to use on other pictures? Well, you can do that by creating a new style. So all you need to do is just click on this little button here. This brings up our new style. We can just swipe across. We can give it a name of our choice. I'm going to call this ND filter. Now make sure you include the layer effects. So make sure you got a little tick in the box. Also include the layer blend options. Don't forget we use the soft lights. We can now click on OK to that. And there it is. So let's try it out. Let's come over to the cancel button. I'm going to press and hold down alt on the keyboard. Notice the way cancel becomes reset. So we can now reset it. Let's come to the styles. And if we take a look, the first style we've got here is our ND filter. Clicking on it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's just try this one out. It's roughly the same sort. That's just a little bit lighter. So let's take a look at that and that. But you can also change it. So as soon as we click on it, let's come down to the gradient overlay. That's the numbers we put in, which was 57%. If you click on that, I'm just going to reduce it very slightly into that area so it fits in with the rest of the picture. Clicking on OK. And there it is. Job done. There's our effects. If you want to change, if you want to adjust it, just double click on it. That will bring back the styles. We can fold it up out of the way as well. And if we just take a look, that's what we started off with. That was removing that hazy uh, look to the picture. Here it is removing that color cast and also darkening down the sky. Always a good idea as well. Just say what you've done on any layers like match color. And there it is. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. That way you'll receive new videos as they're being released. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.